What's up, my name is Techno, here for Triple Shoot, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you a rather useful trick that may be incredibly helpful for you, especially if you have tons of games, or games that take really long to update, and you have multiple drives in your computer. Recently, I decided, hey, why not update Apex Legends? It's been sitting there for quite some time, and maybe I'd like to try it again. Only issue is, is that the update is probably 800 megs to download, but as you can see, it expands to 64.9 gigabytes, or at least modifies 65-ish gigabytes of files. That's a huge amount of files, especially if you have a game installed on a hard drive. This may not seem too much like an issue, but it did take an incredibly long time, stuck at 0% to two and a half minutes here, while it keeps my hard drive pinned at 100%. Of course, you may not be bothered by this, but the entire update took a total of more than 25 minutes to complete. Why is that? Well, it's such a tiny download, but it has to modify so many files. If we have a look at the folder that it's downloading to, you can see in common, I have all of my games installed here, and there's a folder called downloading. Inside of here, it keeps a whole bunch of files that it downloads off of the servers, modifies some things, and then puts them into the common folder over here, I assume overwriting your existing files. This may not sound like too much of an issue, and these files are right next to each other, so they're easily sorted out. But if you're someone who has large games, and you have them on a slower hard drive, constantly ticking between two different physical locations on a hard drive can take quite a lot of time. And as you can see in the screenshot over here, my hard disk was pinned to 100% with the average response time jumping all the way up to about five whole seconds, which is incredibly long, even for a hard drive. That just means that it's bouncing around a hell of a lot between different places physically on the hard drive. This of course could be minimized with defragging and things like that. And on an SSD, this isn't an issue. With that out of the way, is there a way that we can separate these two files so it's not writing to this folder and reading from it at the same time as it's writing and reading from the other folder over here, making the needle go crazy jumping around on the hard drive physically. Well, actually, there is a way to move files and folders without actually having programs get confused about where they've gone. You can already see a strange icon over here. The method I'll be talking about is called symlinking. Essentially, you copy or move a folder from one place and you tell the computer, hey, make a link from this folder so that it looks like a normal folder, but instead, all of the files in this other drive in this other place. If you're someone like me and you have a slower hard drive for games and things like that, storage, and you have a much faster SSD for temporary things like video editing and things like that, or you just have quite a bit of extra space on your hard drive, this may be something you want to try out. We can speed up downloads really dramatically inside of Steam. In fact, over here, I was timing. As you saw, I had a timer going in those screenshots. I backed up the entire Apex Legends folder and canceled right before the end of the update so I could restore it and do another test with symlinked folders. And as you can see, pretty much a 10 times reduction in update times for games, which is more than enough to actually make this a reason that you'd want to do this sort of thing. It's completely free to you, but of course you'll need a faster drive in your computer as well as a separate drive that stores all of your games. Of course, I have some games on my SSD and a lot of them, majority of them on my hard drive, I was able to do this. So first of all, we'll want to find out where we actually want to put these. Over here in my E drive, a hard drive is where I store all of my games. As you can see, E drive is absolutely massive and almost full. My H drive over here is pretty much almost full as well, whereas these two are NVMe SSDs. The rest of these here are slower hard drives. Let's go ahead and take the downloads folder from my slow hard drive onto my SSD temporarily while it updates games and things like that, as when it's done updating, the folder will actually empty itself leaving us with no extra space used on our SSD. To do this, I just need to navigate to where it is in Steam and in a separate browser, I'll navigate to where I'd like to put this temporary download folder. On my H drive, my SSD, inside of a cache folder, I keep all of Adobe's cached files and things like that. And now I also have Steam downloading and Steam Depot cache. All you have to do is make two folders in here. You can call them whatever you want, but just to differentiate them from other things on my computer, I've named them Steam Depot Cache, hence the strange icon. This folder is linked here, but it actually exists on this drive over here. The Steam downloading folder would be linked to the downloads folder over here, but I haven't actually linked it just yet. 
to tell Windows to link these two physical places on two different physical drives, we'll need some command line experience or preferably a program that'll do it for us. I'll be using the link shell extension, which I've shown countless times before. Simply click download at the top of this page, which you'll find linked in the description down below. Then just scroll down a little bit and download the Win64 version if you're on Windows 64 or Windows 32 if you're on Windows 32. Then simply open it up when it's done downloading and follow through with the installation. You'll eventually be asked to restart Windows Explorer. Your screen will probably flash black and when it comes back, all of your folders should be closed. You'll need to navigate back to these two places here. First of all, we'll start by removing the downloading folder from Steam over here, simply by deleting it. And I'll make a new folder on a completely separate faster drive, preferably an SSD as such. And we'll right click the new downloading folder we've made in a cache somewhere. And you should see a new option in your right click menu called pick link source. Click this, and then head back to the original Steam directory here, right click, and choose drop as then junction. Doing so, we'll have a folder over here with a strange icon. And when we open it up, it says it's in the same folder as Steam. However, it's physically located on a different drive. I'll start by creating a simple file here just to demonstrate. You can see it's on the right hand side here inside of the physical file. And it's on the left hand side here inside of the linked file. Anything I create in the link will of course appear and actually be physically stored on a different drive here. Awesome. Now that we've explained that, let's go ahead and fix the naming. It isn't Steam downloading. It needs to be called downloading inside of the Steam folder. The depot cache folder is something you can do as well. Create a Steam depot cache, right click, pick link source, and drop it here as a junction once again, and rename it depot cache. Anyways, now that we've actually done this, you can reopen Steam if you've closed it at all. And because we deleted the downloading folder, if you currently have a download going, Steam's gonna be very confused. So do make sure you pause downloads here and preferably exit Steam entirely before you do this. When you have done this, however, you'll see that opening the downloading folder on my other SSD over here, and I tell a game to update, you'll see the update starts and here are the files on my SSD. It then downloads very quickly and because it's working on two separate drives, there's movement on my hard drive and there's movement on my SSD as well. There's not a ton of things going on here and it is reading in huge bursts as it's all going into RAM. But if I was updating from one disk to the same disk, jumping between two places really quickly could cause quite a bit of confusion for my computer or at least rather quite a bit of lag time on my hard drive where the response time jumps through the roof and everything becomes super slow. You can see here it was around three milliseconds, but if I update something like Apex Legends, from one drive to the same drive, you'll see it jumps all the way up to a couple of seconds. So anything from navigating files and folders to opening files while games are updating will become incredibly slow. This especially becomes noticeable when you're playing a different game on the same drive that you're updating games on while you're playing the game. If I'm playing something like a first person shooter and I tell Steam to continue updates in the background because I'd like to play something else when I'm done, the game could become incredibly slow, unstable, and not fun to play at all. Instead, where it's just writing to that disk, instead of reading and writing and reading and writing again, it's completing one task instead of four, things can be a lot more responsive. Of course, this may break when a Windows update comes out, but the most that it'll break is probably replacing the downloading folder over here with an actual folder instead of a sim link. So if at some stage you decide to check and you see that the little icon has vanished, you can simply just create the same link once again and things will go back to being fast. Of course, this is very unnecessary, but if you're someone who has to do a ton of updates for a ton of installed games, well then hey, this could be something that's very useful to you, especially if they're super slow updating games such as Apex Legends. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's Techno over here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!